But the last question is, you talk a lot about hourly rates, like people should know about their hourly value. Mm-hmm. If you were to become someone's assistant, mm-hmm. what would be your hourly rate? That's a good question. Uh, I would want to become... Hi, I am Raj Chamani and welcome to Figuring Out. I started this because since childhood we have been asked what's next, what's the plan? What are you going to do I don't know. I'm still figuring out. I have big dreams, but I don't know how to achieve them. And there are a lot of people just like me who want to make it big in the world, but don't know what's next. In this podcast, here we get entrepreneurs, artists, creators, and everyone who has made it big in their life, but are still figuring out. And today's guest is someone who is a pure hustler, who has done it all from selling CDs, mehndi cones, teaching computer science to neighborhood children and running a cyber cafe to building billion dollar startups like Free Charge and Cred and has invested in more than 150 startups, Kunal Shah. In this podcast, we have talked about how to get rich, how to build billion dollar companies, how to understand Indian customers and his thought provoking ideas on how Indians can create wealth and why is he rewarding people to just build good financial habits. Also, this podcast is brought to you by Coinswitch Kubey. Coinswitch Kuber is India's simplest digital exchange and trading platform for cryptocurrencies where you can start trading from only rupees 100 a simple fast safe and secure platform which allows you to start your crypto journey in the most user friendly way also we took kunal shah's job interview so make sure you don't miss out on that one well enjoy this episode and watch it till the end because this one podcast has taught me more than i've ever learned in any business class I was a very <laughs> very I've been I've never been nervous. Make it 21 degrees so that he stays cool. No no I am I am it's completely okay. Chill, I chill. think we've been talking about this whole day. Yes. Chill, Since chill. like like since couple of days we have been talking about no, it. No just chill. I was really uh, excited to do it with you so hmm. probably because I was so excited it's just right chill. Now. Let's make it fun. uh and and be in your natural version because yeah. you don't want this to like become, become boring for anybody to listen yeah. to imagine people have to suffer this oh no <laughs> not at all i want them to so, love so this. don't lose your edge <laughs> yeah uh stay fun uh all Perfect. of us are the same people in different levels of our journey so you are super young and you've achieved so much uh i i wish i had all the skill sets that you have for your age wow. so we are all You're like hyping so me up like for no, a while. No, I'm so not. You're <laughs> like, ha, thoda, thoda, sahi ho jaate. No, jate, I genuinely okay. believe so. I wish, okay. uh, I wish more people could keep doing what they do and building skills and learning from that and have the uh, uh, humility to know they're all imperfect in some ways and they're all figuring it out along yeah. the way. Yeah, that's a good plug for the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, we. I just want to keep it raw. Huh. I just want to kick in. Right Let's now. do it this exactly that way. Yeah. Let's not make it like no uncle feeling should come. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no uncle feeling is done. That's all. it. That's it. Perfect. In fact, let's talk about similarities. That now that you've talked about it, right? You are the one who dropped out of the college. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm the one who never went to college. Good. Like, I went to college, never like attended or gave exams. That's most of India, but sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so why did you drop out? Like, what was the reason? uh i dropped out of mba because uh, uh two reasons one i i felt like this guy in three idiots who wanted to learn but not really go for the exams uh i was happy to just skip the exams and just learn i don't think the indian education format likes that too much i was very happy doing the presentations and not be writing the written exams i have a massive phobia with writing long form that's why i tweet but i never write long form i hate it i can't memorize anything uh but i think the education system expected you to be this way I like to understand things but not like write long forms because I'm like it doesn't make any sense and thankfully the world is more to short video formats who wants to watch this one hour podcast anyway <laughs> right so uh, so the point is that I I realized that uh I all I wanted is to learn I was doing well in life I was already running a business by that time but that format did not allow that right our education format is more designed to this and I just realized that it was not so much fun because uh uh i rather learn through uh uh, uh youtube university uh, uh and and books and other things and constantly be on quest to know versus learn and i think very few people are genuinely interested in knowing 
कि हाउ डज दिस पॉडकास्टिंग बिजनेस वर्क और हाउ डज क्रेड वर्क और वट एवर बट एवरीबडी सीम्स टू हैव एन ओपिनियन बट नॉट अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ इट एंड आई थिंक दैट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू आस्क एनी बडी कि ओलंपिक्स में हमको गोल्ड मेडल क्यों नहीं मिलता है एंड एवरीबडी विल टेल यू एग्जैक्टली ओपिनियन वाइज क्या बट देर इज नो सब्सटेंस इन एनी बडीज रिसर्च देर इज नो इंटरेस्ट इन रिसर्च वी ऑल आर लाइफ वी हैव कॉपीड इच अदर्स प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड ट्राई टू पास एग्जाम्स when that was the opportunity to really learn something and go deeper into anything so we are like all these we are a generation of shallow people and and shallow people have opinions they don't understand anything but do you think we should like we can do something to change it because that's a reality that's i everybody agrees to it yeah how will we change it we'll only change it when people truly see there's a benefit of doing this right but if you see somebody uh, on instagram why making this cool content gets millions of followers and then there is this boring thing of like learning something for years and years and eventually make some money right so the thing is that the curse of fame is is exciting if you ask every young person they want to be a youtube celebrity but you are not built for it only some people are built for it right and and you you can use the words like oh nepotism this that problem is that only few people are designed to be extraordinary and they will continuously win by design can there be 1 million successful uh influencers probably not but can there be 1 million sorry 10 million millionaires answer is yes so to be 10 million millionaires you should not chase fame you should change chase skill and knowledge and depth and understanding versus fame uh, but fame is super exciting right now exactly because it gives you so much credibility you get a blue tick and people are like Sh-. i get so many dms and i'm sure you do like how do you get a blue tick i'm like why do you want to bl- get blue tick why do you care and nobody is really interested in what your journey is what you've been they just want to see your end state like there are there are people have seen influencers who just have super cars and there are people are just following them because they have super cars mm-hmm. and i'm like but do they have substance because people who truly have substance don't feel the need to show it off mm-hmm. that's true but do you think okay i you said like few people are designed to do certain things but i feel the opposite way that you need to learn to become anything sure right so you're not designed to do anything sure. you have to you have to like eventually do something keep trying it and then you were designed for xyz things so yes there is a small nuance though can there be 4000 uh winners for throwing javelin mm. in the olympics but can there be 5000 millionaires in the month of july mm. 2021 and that's where the difference comes is that some businesses by design do not have the space for more people to exist why do you want to fight for that when there is unlimited ways to create wealth very few places for example let's say i'm on instagram i can watch anybody's content yeah. but i only have 24 hours so you're competing with every single person who's releasing their podcast whereas when you're making money everybody can make money a lot of money and that thing about our country is still not understood people are still stuck on not understanding what is zero sum what is not zero sum and i think that's going to be a maybe few generation before we get there okay you talked about unlimited ways to create wealth mm-hmm. okay let's say what are those ways mm-hmm. everybody keeps talking about oh you know what mm-hmm. you should not do something where there's a lot of competition mm mm-hmm. how can somebody find some spaces where there's not competition and actually perfect learn to become someone like that that's a that's a good question uh by design it comes from understanding of human behavior right all of us will not succeed if you don't understand human behavior you will you would know by design right now the podcast is going on you know which clip is going to get what views it's in your head you know what is the edit that you need to make right we are all wired to do certain things and make certain things work my view is that all of us are wired to do certain things and and get their 
expertise over a period of time, multiple iterations, right? When we are uh, understanding this human behavior, we understand what is the human motivation behind it. Some people are natural at it. Most people are not. According to me, not having a dating culture is a big reason we are all terrible at human motivation. Right? Because if you have never really convinced anybody to do anything for you, you've never really understood what do they want. It's about what I want. What percent of the country is still in arranged marriage? Probably 90%. Somebody else is going to sell you as a product to an opposite family and both of them are like, okay, good product. Let's get them married. But when you get into the dating world, you are actually testing yourself at, is there a product market fit? Does anybody want me? And how will I learn that? Now I'm giving an example of how to learn human motivation. There are multiple ways to learn that. Once you understand human motivation, you will realize what will people pay for. Yeah. And that skill set can be learned by trying constantly different things. We all know people in college who made money. All of us know. Koi Xerox ke notes based tha. Somebody used to do something else. Somebody organized some trips. One guy took you to, oh, I'll take you to this college event. All of that stuff. And if you go distill it, you'll find out that the core human needs are understood by those people and they can create wealth. Human motivation is a non-going river. Right? Now that everybody's on Instagram, everybody wants to look good. We all want fancy shoes now. Right? Because can we wear the same clothes uh, uh, on Instagram again? No, we want to appear differently, nicely. That's a motivation to understand what will people want. Right? I'm giving an example. But let's say we get to the next stage. We are, uh, everybody wants to build videos, but we do not understand how to make good editing tools. What if somebody made extraordinary editing tools to make good content? Made it very easy for millions of, of people to make high quality edits just the way you do it. What if that was made? That would be a unicorn. Yeah. What if people like me could edit videos like you through a simple tool? So the thing is that human motivation is constantly shifting. Let's get another example. Uh, what if you could create, I, I talked about how as a kid I used to be terrible at memorizing anything and, and, and not do well in exams because Indian education system was not about understanding. Funny enough, I used to score full marks in all vivas and practicals. Wow. And barely survive written exams. Right? I'm sure there'll be more kids like me. Now, what if you could create a product which made it easy for people like me to memorize? Mm -hmm. Using video. And tools and techniques that you learned from your podcasting skills. Which made it easy for kids to remember their education. Can you make a lot of money? Answer is yes. So the thing is that the crux of creating wealth is about solving problems of people that are currently not solved well. And people have deep desire to solve that problem by paying money for it. Mm -hmm. And that can be only done when you understand what people need. Yeah, and deeply be interested in people and their motivations. True. I always say this thing, right? Like because you pointed out that you need to create, let's say, editing tools or anything of that sort. I always say you need to be on the producer side of something which you're consuming the most, and that's how you can achieve wealth. Like, that's a that's a good framework. Uh, we are consumers of so many things. If we become producers of that, we'll all create wealth. It makes a lot of sense that framework. So it's like anything which you're like. Let's say if I am. For example, I play PUBG the whole day. Hmm. Just giving an example. Like if I play PUBG the whole day, instead of just consuming that, what if I can figure out to create content around that? I would add Inside. one nuance to this framework of yours. Hmm. What do I spend time on? What do I spend money on? Hmm. These are two currencies yeah. that you're wasting yeah. or spending. Uh, you can have a lot of wealth. You could potentially spend a crore a month. Uh, let's say somebody is super rich. Jeff Bezos could spend 10 crores a day. But 
you, me, Jeff, everybody has 24 hours a day. Which means, if you understand how people spend their time and their money and became producer of that, you can create wealth. And it's important to understand the nuance. Uh, everybody has different amounts of money to spend. Everybody has the same amount of time to spend. And therefore, people who control time actually become more wealthier over a period of time, as long as they can get the right people's time. Let's take an interesting point of view now. There are two types of transactions in human life. Boring transaction, interesting transactions. Let's define what is boring transaction. Fueling your car. Nobody has ever been excited. Who? Aaj petrol bharenge gaadi mein. Correct? But we are very excited to watch that funny clip and that new show that everybody's talking about and that movie that seems to be being discussed in the office. Aasham ko dekhte hai. So if you look at human life's framework, all of us are trying to reduce time and money spent on all boring things and invest in all the transactions that are interesting. Planning a vacation. Nobody is like, yaar, nahi, paanch minute decide kar leta. People love the process of planning this, that, ye karenge, wo karenge. Like imagine Indian households planning weddings. Nobody wants efficiency over there. <laughs> ek website hai, se mehndi wale ko order karenge khatam. No. They want to call this person and that person and call that person on Instagram and suffer. True. Because they get joy out of it. So what I'm trying to say is that if you're making a business that will remove the time and money spent on people, things that people hate doing. Imagine you create a product where nobody needs to charge their phone. It's always charged. Brilliant product. I, I want to buy it. Exactly. <laughs> so the point is that it will happen one day. Yeah. It will happen, charging may happen through air. And who knows that it might be happening in our lifetime. And that will be amazing. What if we, nobody has to fuel their car? Or charge their car? Just parking is enough. And I'm saying that it will all likely to happen in our lifetimes. Because nobody has enjoyed this. And by the way, let me put an example. Do petrol pump khulta hai pe. One guy gets two rupees cheaper. Mm. People will just go there. Nobody has any joy. Yeah. Right? But if you create a show, uh, uh, shoe store and this is expensive, you actually want that. Yeah. Versus that. Ke sasta le le so it's like the boring things people just want to, they want to A, they want to hate, like they want to avoid doing it. B, they want to save cost on it. As they don't want to spend time on it. They don't want to spend, don't spend money. money on it. And interesting, they want to spend both the things. Okay. They live for it. opportunities in just this one answer, I tell you. Like, this is just, there, it's a massive mind shift. Like, mm -hmm. if people can understand that and start observing day-to-day -day life, mm -hmm. I think in next one month, they can be filled with a lot of ideas just by observing other people. Yep. We're talking about ideas and talking about production. Okay, like the becoming the producer of what you do. Every time you have come up with a startup, that's free charge, mm -hmm. pesa back, mm -hmm. okay, cred. All of them have revolved around rewards. Yeah. Free money. Yeah. Like, why is that? Like, is that because consumers tend to love that more? Or why is that? Why do you have this kind of mindset? See, whenever we are trying to change behavior, we have to always put incentive to change the behavior. Okay. Right? Let's take an example of Parents trying to get people hooked on to temple. Is the kid interested in uh, God? No. What do they go to temple for? Yeah, I go there for that. Prasad. Have you ever seen any temple with Kadwa Prasad? <laughs> Will they be successful? No. So I'm not inventing anything. It's always been there. What I'm trying to say is that if you are trying to incentivize somebody to do a good behavior, we all have become better human beings by incentive systems. Mm -hmm. Your parents would have told you, okay, if you do this good behavior, there is some incentive for you. If you do some bad behavior, there is punishment for you. Always. I am not in the business of giving any punishments. 
I can only give incentive for good behavior. So what we said at Credit is very simple. If you pay your credit card bills on time, we'll incentivize this behavior so that you feel good about it. You feel good about improving your credit score. You feel good about paying your bills on time. Because if you don't pay on time, there's crazy amount of interest to be paid. There is a lot of financial losses that you may suffer if you don't do this in time. So all of our our thinking has been around incentivizing good behavior because eventually you'll benefit from it. You don't need the incentives anymore. You'll just appreciate it. True. And that's how I think we have learned anything and everything. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Everywhere. Like there is either validation in terms of doing something good. Correct. Or there's like a monetary reward. Yeah. So either you give me likes or give me cash. Yeah. (laughs) But actually, just pause for a second. Think about so many people who create content on social media. Mm-hmm. Only few make money. Mm-hmm. But everybody gets likes. And, they and they're making content day in and out, thinking about it. Kya video click karo? What should I say funny? Which dance step should I do? So that people like me. And the funny thing is, social media platforms use your need of likes to give you the audience and then sell ads on it. It's fascinating. It's a very good business. Yeah, imagine this in the offline world is basically, I create, a, let's say I created this society, my big ground with stages and allow performers to perform on that stage. People will come for that and I'll just set up shops around it. Mm. That technically happens also. It does. Yeah. I'm saying it's just become more efficient. Instagram is nothing but stages given to people. Every now and then I shift audience to your stage. They applause and go to the next stage for every 10 seconds. And that's such a brilliant model because people who don't have money put all their efforts and money to or put all their efforts and time to get those applause. And yeah. people who have money, they spend money to get those applause. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a brilliant win-win model. It is. And, and here's the interesting part now. You become popular. Right, you can monetize that through cash. A lot of popular people get into politics. Uh, you will see singers have become politicians, actors have become politicians, comedians have become politicians, uh, artists, Cricket. cricketers. How many times you've seen politicians become cricketer, artists, comedians, any of that? Rarely, never, probably, because. There is one ladder of status that you climb to ultimately get the highest amount of status and power. And it's one way street. But if you make money, multiple people can exist. Parliament to itni seats sir. Is there a guideline by the country that only we can have 250 millionaires? Nothing Never. more than that. Never. Or 11 member cricket team versus, oh, we can have only 10 billionaires. Baki sabko nikalna padega. Never like that. Actually, this this gets me to a good question that a lot of new unicorns and startups in India are also coming. Like now people say that India, let's bet on India, India ka time gaya, all of that is going on. And a lot of these people are coming from tier two, tier three cities as well. Do you think just like West, we are going to see a lot of billionaires in India or are we far away from those things? Um, by design, we will have a few. To be doing it consistently requires fundamental changes. For example, you cannot create billionaires if the country's per capita income is not changing. 65 to 68% of the country's income is still dependent on agriculture. Can you guess what percentage of US income is dependent on agriculture? How many people in US are dependent on agriculture for making an income? Take a wild guess. Less than 1%. Right? Because you don't need that many people, farmers. You can do automation. Mm-hmm. Today, most farming can be done without a human being. Yeah. They have to move to higher skills thing. We don't have those skills. Right? Uh, second thing is women participation of labor. Mm-hmm. Less than 6% of urban Indian women have any financial income. In China, 96% probably have financial income in urban China. That's how they got prosperous. When two genders work, they create more jobs. 
think about your family member who both the genders are working mm. right or, or, or both the partners are working then they'll say nani rakh lete hain or we'll have two drivers yeah. and then we we'll do more things and we'll buy this and we'll buy this table also which creates more and more jobs imagine only one gender works or one partner works which is happening in my house and it's so true like because now that more people in my house are working more genders in my house are working there is we have employed drive like we have bought yeah. a new driver yeah. the but now here's the thing we don't we are so delusional we don't realize for example bangladesh which is our neighboring nation yeah. the urban female participation of labor is 68% and therefore they have crossed us on per capita income most people don't know about this we are like are oh bangladesh are coming to our country no they are not going to come to our country very soon they'll put restrictions on our people going there because their per capita income has taken off because both the genders are working pakistan has more female participation of labor than india why is that why do you feel that that's the reason and what can we do to change it well, well talk about it first of all most people have no clue about it hmm. everybody says this thing they ask that okay ghar pe sab women kaam karti hai nahi nahi wo to bacche ho gaye to they are like busy with that what uh, mba school padhai ki thi ab they are taking care of kids are we okay with it are we culturally okay with it and i think and i'm not saying one is right or one is wrong i'm just saying we cannot dream to be having billionaires when the per capita income is not changing that's so true right everybody is happy to get free subsidies for example the classic thing i find the funniest thing about indians is they keep talking about petrol prices going up hmm. so i tell them that if you compare 20 years ago petrol price kitna growth hua and 20 years ago bhelpuri ka cost kitna upar gaya the inflation on that is much higher how come nobody is complaining about bhelpuri because we don't understand inflation right we have no clue what inflation means true but we can fight on one topic opinionated and and therefore keep boss the country only has x percentage of people using cars or any vehicles we need to increase the income not try to expect things to become cheaper now that you talked about like this is too much to take in to be very honest like <laughs> <laughs> no it all this is making sense and it makes more sense and actually this is sad because if you see culturally even the top people who are know like who are really doing well they are okay with all of this and they are the ones like i know a lot of people who are multi multi millionaires even they are talking about like old traditional business they are talking about ye dekho petrol ka price to upar hi ja raha hai like people who are doing stuff they yeah. are also complaining about it. yeah now talking about all of this i want to understand where can people learn all of this like how do we start what do we do let's make it simple for everybody who's listening this like what are these one two three four steps which somebody can take learn about inflation learn about capitalism because you love to talk about it i think the simplest method is take one word that you got interested in inflation spend one hour on youtube finding everything about it while you watch that video you'll learn one more word spend one more hour finding about that word then you will discover one more word find more about that word that's over 2 years time you will be smartest than all the people in your classroom or anybody in your family or all the people in your family whatsapp group that's, that's it's very simple people don't want to put do it because wo कूल कंटेंट कब देखेंगे यार <laughs> वो बढ़िया ट्रेंड आया है डांस का वो कब देखेंगे सो हाउ ओके सो यू यू आई आई गेट दिस वर्ड अ लॉट राइट कूल 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 हाउ डू यू मेक इट कूल यू कैन नॉट मेक इट कूल इट विल ओनली हैपन व्हेन पीपल गेट इंटरेस्टेड इन बिकमिंग रिच वर्सेस फेमस बट राइट नाउ एवरीबॉडी वांट्स टू बिकम रिच लाइक नो दे वांट टू बिकम फेमस दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू बी रिच देयर इज नो इंटरेस्ट इन बिकमिंग रिच दे वांट द गुड्स यू गेट बाय बिकमिंग रिच which allows you to show off mm. nobody wants to be really be rich wow now how do i let's say i want to ask you this because i think content is going to shape culture like okay content will con- i i am who i am because of the content i've consumed correct so how can content creators make it cool i think the good thing that i'm seeing a lot of content creators are doing 
like someone like you is just asking questions on people's behalf hmm. which is creating new vocabulary in people's head and i really hope that they don't take this video as knowledge and make this as let's say from this can we learn two three words to go curious about and really understand it i think the biggest thing that needs to become cool is that do you really understand something or you are the superficial guy upar upar se sab kuch pata hai right do we want to really become good at something right the deep need to be really good at something is the only way we'll change as a country right uh, and the need for excellence the need for yaar ekdam perfect karna hai kitne logon mein for our own sake not because somebody else is telling us to do something perfect how many employees create really good presentations for their own good not because the boss has asked them to make it we avoid work are yaar ye bahut dimag khata hai boss ye sab karne ke liye chhodo yaar let me go chill with my friends that's fine then you'll get that in your life yeah you'll stay chilling with your friends and and the friend who likely stay chilling with you will also stay with you they'll also not grow in life the point is that why don't you do it want to make a perfect presentation because you are proud of it not because anybody else liked it or not you are absolutely proud of it it doesn't happen because i feel one of the reasons is because since we were kids we have been taught to get validated so like when we were kids i remember when we were like four or five year olds mom unko taiyar karti hai and then ask that kid ki jao beta papa ko dikhao kaise dikh raha hai like pucho correct so from that age we have been like perfectly taught to get validation from someone else never i don't remember ki kisi ne bola ho ki beta kaanch mein dekho tum kaise lag rahe ho how are you feeling about it it's a good point uh we live our life through somebody else's lens and some of this word comes from the what's called collectivist societies and and you should look up what is collectivist society and find interesting stuff about it right collective societies constantly stay in control by making valid center of importance somebody else so it stays subdued in some ways because you're always trying to look good in other people's eyes right uh, but actually let's take let's do an imaginary story right uh, imagine there is a kid in the village who is not liked by everybody rude type guy uh, thinks he's very smart whatever and this is ancient times and uh, nobody really talks to that kid nobody likes to be with that kid or whatever that but the kid was very smart so the kid invented a bucket and uh, that bucket solved the problem of carrying water from the water stream back to the village and suddenly everybody is happy because they can store water and suddenly this kid became rich and everybody wants to get their daughter married to this kid all the guys who did not like this kid before and all the guys are like are yaar main to usko school se janta hu wo to mere ghar pe khana khana aata tha humne cricket khela tha sath mein just because that kid became rich so what i'm trying to say is that there are alternate methods of getting validation also because ultimately you will notice one thing that as soon as somebody becomes successful people will say are wo to hamara And, and there is a in concept in psychology called as basking in reflected glory, which means as soon as some success happens, we attribute it to ourselves. Oh, all the CEOs of global companies are Indians, but boss, they don't have Indian passport anymore. <laughs> like they just have Indian origins. Origin. Yeah. But we love to attribute it to ourselves. Okay, they call Google CEOs also Indian, Microsoft CEOs also Indian. But I'm like boss, they're not in India. they don't have indian passport so so the point is that we love to attribute everybody else's success to us right uh, oh you are also gujarati oh you are also from indore oh you also like wearing these shoes oh like we find similarities so, to attribute their success to us rapu yeah like you always want to do that and we I don't know who did this, but by default we all do this, and yeah. everybody does this. Okay, now before before we end this, and I want to have like before we go to the fun section of it, sure. I want to have a last question because you talked about behavior, or you talked about we love to attribute 
I I was reading about you, mm-hmm. and you were given five rupees when you were in fifth class, I guess, mm-hmm. every yeah. day to go deposit in bank. Yeah, and that <coughs> for doing a job, free money mil rather. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I thought you were given every day. No, I had to work in my uh, family shop, okay. and my salary was five rupees a day. All right. To go so, deposit in the bank. Do you think that's a major reason why you got interested in finance or making money? Or do you think I think some families in India who are business families they are naturally interested in money, yeah. Because they discuss money on dinner table, they talk about taka mm. and percentages a lot more. I mean, many families talking about money is considered to be shameful. Like you are like a lower being if you discuss money, huh. and therefore our relationship with money is messed up. Whereas we all live in this universe created through money, but. Our relationship with money is like don't discuss it, don't talk about it. Like dinner table, pe mat karo. Like people don't talk about them having loans. It's awkward to borrow money, lend money. Like we just launched, uh, uh, launching a product uh, tomorrow or, or day after, which is uh, called Credment, where Cred members can uh, invest in other Cred members uh, who are all credit worthy, trust worthy individuals. And it's our first community product where they get up get up to nine percent. on investing in cred members and they can bo- cred members can borrow from that same pool uh because we realized that this is a perfect thing like everybody's credit worthy trust for these should be able to come together and invest in this but we are fairly certain it's still not going to be talked about people will be quietly doing this behavior of taking loans uh like we are the like leading fintech lender in india but you will never see a tweet about uh le- taking loans from cred because it's a private behavior and it's going to be very very powerful for us to create a high trustworthy community to build on top of that uh but what at the core of it we are trying to improve relationship with money we don't want people to like not talk about it and it's always considered like that right like loan in my family also like we talk about money openly even when we are yeah. kids but the moment you talk about loan nahi loan nahi lena Credit card, no use. Karna. Correct. Ye nahi karna. Perfect. And you are in the like you talk about making people wealthy. Like correct. People correct. Improve their relationship. With that. Correct. And you read about financial gurus' family. Ki credit card se dur ro. So first of all, are they really wealthy? Is my question. Uh, 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 every wealthy person has become wealthy by taking a lot of loans. You think Amani's don't take loan? Tatas don't take loan. All of them have taken loan. Do you think Amazon does not take loan? Apple does not take loan, and have they not taken loan to get where they are today? So the answer is everybody has. But the question is that because we are terrible at managing money, hmm. we say, "Yar, nee mat karo." See, I'll tell you what happens. Emotional societies operate from apathy to panic. Can you explain more. Let me explain. Look at our behavior with COVID. Okay. Complete panic, complete apathy. अरे कुछ नहीं. चलो. Same way in matters of loan, we do the same thing. नहीं. नहीं नहीं ठीक है. There's no middle stance. I so often make this joke that India में nobody does app store में two star, three star, four star rating. It's either one star or five star. <laughs> we operate from love and hate only yeah so that's true that's like my uber behavior <laughs> <laughs> which is exactly what i'm talking about so the thing is that credit cards are not bad it's like saying knife is bad yeah if you hold it from the wrong side yes you will get hurt but knife has made human life better can you say whatsapp is bad or oh, we we blame whatsapp if somebody sells a problematic content to somebody does whatsapp make it bad or people make it bad so the question is that every time you introduce new technology the first reaction you go back in history and study all the pr that came when cars were invented for decade it was hated yeah now we don't even think about this so every time you do something that is new and different and because we do not understand it turns into fear and hatred to such a it's so much to <laughs> <laughs> so it's like 
I am like it's like master class one on one Raj. Everything you think about, it's shattered right now. Now go think about something new. It's really insightful. Now I want to read it. Like I don't want to take much much of your time. I want to quickly go to the last segment of it. Sure. I want to leave people with that with that thought that there are few things we talked about. One was start talking about it. Second is improve your relationship with the things that you want to do. Third was if you are interesting in anything, pick up one word. learn spend one hour pick up another word spend another hour then <clears throat> apart from all of that think about why you do certain things why people do certain things and why you always are operating from just two different like extreme point of views like love or fear correct and if people can just think about these things i think a lot of people will start seeing their day to day life differently because it's a lot to think about. But now you did not say it powerfully like point number 1 <laughs> point number 2 point number 3 why didn't you do that <laughs> that's your style man wait before we get down to the most fun part of our podcast this segment is where we ask our guest to answer freely where they don't have to think about anything and answer in a befaker mentality which is exactly what coins which kuber believes in if you want to start trading in cryptocurrencies coins which believes that start your journey without worrying about anything trade kar befikar with coins which could bear so the last segment was it's only like impromptu session sure ki, because i want to tell people that you are normal everybody is normal okay? sure so imagine mm-hmm. you were about to get hired mm-hmm. as a grad and you're giving an interview mm-hmm. i'm going to ask you the five most basic popular questions which okay. people ask in their interviews okay and you have to like instantly answer them cool okay i i, I hope i get hired yeah <laughs> 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 like people are just okay <laughs> okay uh, so This is your job interview. Mm-hmm. Number one, the most basic question, cliche. Why mm-hmm. do you want to work at this company? We talk about credit. So, uh, I I realize that I want to work with people better than me, and seems like credit is a place where most people are better than me. So I'm only here to improve myself, and I think this will be a best place to work for that. Lovely. What is your weakness? Uh, being. uh not being able to stay focused on one thing because i'm excited and interested in everything oh that's a good strength actually <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, now tell me who kunal shah is outside your cv or let's say outside of the world people know about somebody who is eternally seeking truth sometimes by learning sometimes by building companies sometimes by uh sharing sometimes by meeting smart people uh uh and and hopefully i will never find it before i die and that will make my life permanently interesting who that's that's a very mom kind of <laughs> okay what do you do after you leave office i i try to uh uh think about my day i i am uh trying to get into habit of playing some version of sport because i realize that i need to be away from my phone and i need some force conditions for that uh and uh i'm trying to get into a habit of watching some content i i am i struggle with time and you can follow that to money sure i do follow i do follow <laughs> but the last question is you talk a lot about early rates like people should know about their early value mm-hmm. if you were to become someone's assistant mm-hmm. what would be your early rate that's a good question uh i would want to become assistant to many many people who are generally much better than me and because i'm going to learn so much from them i'll make it free uh because uh the value that i'll get per hour from being around them is going to be so much more valuable than charging them any money wow that's so good ye kyun aise yaar i wanted you to put it like a different position so that you think oh main kya sochunga kya bolunga you just killed it what sport do you play by the way i'm getting into badminton i i am not very good at it but i only play with people who are better than me wow <laughs> I need to like prepare for an for a year and then come down and play sure. like one day. It'll be fun. It'll be definitely fun. Thank you so much for doing this. It was pleasure having you. We got a lot of answers. We didn't stick to any framework. Cool. I hope that's okay. Perfect. We didn't stick to any question which has. I, I'm 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 glad we did that way because it's it's boring otherwise. Yeah. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. See you. Thanks.